Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Endless Encouragement with host Myra Hahn. Today's date is September 15th. I hope that everyone had a blessed week. I know that I did. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash learning the Lord. Also um, follow the podcast on blogtalkradio.com forward slash LTLN. If you follow the podcast on blogtalk.com, you will get an email notification when the show is going live. And also subscribe to Endless Encouragement channel on YouTube. It's youtube.com forward slash learning the Lord to all your friends and help my ratings on YouTube. And right now we have all the shows that are posted out there. So there's four podcasts that are posted on YouTube. If you've missed any of our past um, podcasts, Podcast, you can still view them on YouTube, and then also on iTunes. We're on iTunes, so um, if you have a um, iPhone, you necessarily don't need an iPhone. You can actually download iTunes onto your computer, but um, you can search um, "endless encouragement." Or you can also go to our website and click on the link. And the website is learningthelord.com. And while you're going to the website to visit or um, to click on the link for iTunes, you can also sign up for our newsletter. And our newsletter is free. It is It comes through the email, and it will come out in October. And if you'd like to be a writer for our newsletter, just email us at learningthelord.com at gmail.com and put in the subject newsletter. Um, all your um, submission must be original and there's no payment for articles. But we would also just love love to hear from you. So email email us at learningthelord.com at gmail.com. And coming um, soon to our website is our Indie Christian Resources page. Um, this page I'm excited about is going to be dedicated to independent, inspirational, um, and Christian artists. So the show right now, it will be um, broadcast on Tuesdays and Thursday noon from 12 p.m. Eastern Time to 12.30 um, Eastern Time. And I'm looking to do that around um, sometime the beginning of 2014. Um, the date is tentative, but um, be sure to check out our website for submission information. We'll have that information posted within the next two to three weeks on the requirements. And I'm really excited because this is a way to get independent artists, um, music out there as well as books or anything that you've pu- published that is very insur- um, inspirational or motivational to help people. You know, sometimes just writing your own things and trying to get published by a big publishing company or trying to get a CD from a big record label. Um, sometimes you can find that that task um, is very hard, but I'm looking to make it a little easier for you and um, open up that resource for all the independent artists out there. So I'm really excited. The web page is going to be called Indie Christian Resources. Um, but if I get enough people who submit their information, their songs or books or uh, whatever inspirational or motivational um item that you have, if I get that information before 2014, um, I may go ahead and go live with the um, with the web page and the podcast before 2014, so be sure to check it out. You can be one of the new artists that is, um, that is debuted on the Indie Christian Resources, and because we have multiple platforms in which the show goes on is Facebook, um, we have Blog Talk Radio, YouTube, iTunes, so you can get um, noticed by anyone on any of these different platforms. So it's really, uh, I'm, that's what I'm really excited about, just helping um artists get their name out there. So, and if you know of anyone who um, is inspirational or a Christian artist who is looking just to get their name out there, please share this information with them. Tell them to um, 
go to learningthelord.com website or they can email learningthelord.com at gmail.com and just put in the subject Indie Christian Resources. Um, we're also affiliate partner with ChristianBooks.com and iTunes, so any sales coming from that website will help me fund this podcast. So please go to ChristianBooks.com or iTunes, but go through my website, LearningTheLord.com, and make a purchase that, that will help me fund this podcast. I really appreciate your help in that. Follow us every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be here every Sunday at 8 8 p.m. Eastern Time, bringing something inspirational, motivational to you. Um, Our call-in number for the show is 917-889-3203. Once again, the call-in number for the show is 889-3203. Now, our uh, topic for today is called, Is It Hard to Accept Others? I will have to admit it is something that some, that I struggle with sometimes, um, just trying to accept how others are and knowing within myself that I can't change anyone, but just knowing that I need to know, um, I need to be able to accept other people in order to make, you know, my personal relationships, my uh, work relationships, whatever relationships I do have with people, um, make it more positive, make it more inviting, and then only then can our relationship actually flourish together. So um, this topic today, if you are if you also struggle with this, please give us a call. Call in 917-889-3203. Also have the chat room is open. So if you like to go into the chat room or go into Facebook, we're, we're logged into both um, Facebook and on Blog Talk Radio, the chat. So if you would like to join join in in any of the platforms, feel free to do that. So when it comes to accepting others, you are, um, have someone come and they you look and you say, well, why are they doing it that way? You know, it would be so much easier to do it this way. Um, why why are they doing that? And you begin to look at their way on how they're doing things. And what you tend to do is start being um, very critical of that person, and you can begin to be judgmental. Now, I know that um, within myself, as I stated, I struggle with this. I do struggle. This is one of the things that I do struggle with. I will be honest. Um, sometimes when I'm um, have to deal with certain people or certain personalities. Uh, I I am critical um, of them, and sometimes you know, judgmental. It's like, why are you doing it this way? Uh, your thought process makes no sense to me. But I have to learn every time that I deal with someone is to accept others. And I will admit, I am guilty. I was guilty of it today. Is it me? Is it me? Just let me know. Is it me? You know, we always want that confirmation that it's not you, <laughs> and, and and it's not you. It's that other person. It's not really you. But you know, I always tell people, is it me? If it's me, just let me know. It's me. But I know that when I had to deal with that today, that it just um, really hit home that I need to be. Um, more accepting of people and their choices and how they want to do things. And they, their, my way is not always the correct way. And I think that that's where, for me, the biggest problem is, is that my way is knowing that my way is not always the best way, that there's ways to get to point B. You don't have to go my way, but there's ways to get the point from A to B, and it doesn't really does it really matter how you get to B as long as you get to B. But um, as being, I'm just speaking from my personal um, experiences and how I personally struggle with this sometimes is that I'm like, well, this is the shortest route. Let's get there because I don't want to be going around a mountain and going up and down valleys to get to be. Let's just go right through this mountain and let's get there. But um, I just know that um, 
knowing within myself that I have to be able to accept others' personalities and accept that they may need to go through the mountain and they may need to go through the va- down through the valley to really understand maybe why they're doing what they're doing. And I have to be accepting and just go with it. But, um, you know, and also think about, you know, even as far as my kids, you know, even as far as parenting goes, you know, we, we'll look at our our um, our maid and we'll say, well, that's not how you change a pamper. You change a pamper like this. You know, women, we have to pull out all of our gadgets and, and, and maybe he, he, you know, most men will just plop the baby down, take the pamper, and just change the child. And where where we have to get this whole area, you know, just right, just so we can lay the baby down, <laughs> you know, and just being and having to be acceptance of, okay, well, that's not how I would change a baby, but in the end, the pamper got changed. So that's what, you know, that's one of the things we have to start thinking about is just accepting other people, and just accepting um, and being positive and understanding them. And one of the things you can do is just watch your thoughts. You know, think about what you're thinking about, you know, um, not not judging them, you know, because sometimes you can think things about people and you're judging them and you're not even realizing that you're judging them. But, um, you know, just watch your thoughts and do whatever you can do to – to push them, put maybe push them in a non genome or a more accepting direction, you know, but just watch your thoughts. You know, you don't want to sit there and say, oh, my goodness, why is this person doing this? You know, I, I can't believe it because once you start putting that negativity into your mind, then you start having negativity feelings, negative feelings towards that other person. And you really don't want to have the negativity um, surrounding your thoughts because it affects everything. And if you've been listening to the podcast, um, one of the things that your mind has the biggest influence over you, your mind. And, and that's one of the things we have to do is change our minds, think, change our thought process. And, you know, look for the positives in someone. You know, it's it's you can't always look at someone and, and look at them in a negative way. Always look for the positive. Um, like I said, trying to go from A to B, you know, if they got to B, look at the positive. They got to B. No, it probably wasn't the way that you would have wanted to go, but hey, they got to they got to be, you know, and understanding, you know, what is good about that person, you know, what was good about, you know, his or her choice and action, you know, and understanding that your way is not always the best way. Like I said, that's one of my biggest things is my way is understanding that my way is not always the best way. But um, it's something that I work on every single day. And I had experiences today, in fact, where, you know, I had to really pull, bring my mind to, okay, let's look at the positive side and let's look at, you know, um, what are they trying to accomplish? Did we get to where they needed to be? And just just focusing in on that versus the negative. And I will be honest, the first thing that I went to was the negative side of things. I wasn't really accepting of it. But as I um, becoming more aware of my thoughts, because once you start working on your thought process and start working on your mind, you'll start to recognize when you have gone astray. <laughs> and I knew today when I had gone astray and I said, oh, no, let's let's just bring it back. Let's bring it back. And we have to start looking at the positive side of things, you know, and then stop judging yourself. Um, I think that's what the other thing is that. Um, often we have our personal, um, we're our own personal critics, and we put so much pressure on ourselves to do things the right way um, that we also, in turn, put pressure on others to do the right way, um, to do things the right way. Um, that is another thing because 
like I stated, I always feel that I'm in the right. This is this is the quickest and easiest way. I used to tell people all the time, I I I, I want to get there as quick as possible, and let's get there efficient and quickly as possible. I don't want to spend all day, you know. And and if I find that someone's going to be taking, you know. 20 steps versus five steps, it's like, no, we're going to do it this way. I'm going to tell you why we're going to do it this way. But I have to learn that I have to stop putting pressure on everyone else because I have to understand that just because this is my way of doing things, you know, I everyone's not Myra. Everyone is going to do things their own way. So I have to stop judging myself and saying, you know, I am and just putting that pressure on myself of I have to do it this way. Regardless, sometimes when I'm told to do things a certain way, sometimes I'm just like, okay, but I'm going to go do it this way because this is the way I want it done. Um, and, and, and in my mind, that's the right way. But we have to get out of that. Once again, that's our whole thought process. And just try to get out of that thought process and stop judging yourself and stop putting pressure on yourself to do things the right way. Because once you stop putting that pressure on yourself to do things the right way, you're going to stop putting pressure on everyone else. And then you're going to start being more accepting of how people are um, choosing to do different things. You know, focus on, you know, focus on the now. Um, and stop comparing things to the past. That's another way of accepting, of being accepting, accepting to someone. You know, if you've always thinking about, you know, what happened before or um, what happened just now, you know, you want to move beyond that and think about now. This is where we're at right now. Because if you're always constantly comparing things to the past, you're always going to hinder um yourself and you're not going to be able to accept whatever it is because you're always comparing it to the past. You know, it's just like, um, you know, going, you know, if you're living in an area that doesn't have a, just say a highway, I'll just say, and you're so used to um, always just traveling this one long road. Well, someone decided, you were so upset because someone decided to put a highway on your way to wherever you're going. And you're always going to be upset because, oh, my goodness, they put this highway there. But don't think about the past. Don't think about that, you know, I had to drive this long road. Think about now. Well, now I can get on the highway and I'm there, you know. So that's one way of just focusing in on now. What's going on now in your life that, or what is is going on now that you have to go ahead and just be accepting of what's happening now. You know, a lot of times, you know, as parents, I know I evolve as a parent, you know, and sometimes, yes, the kids will, well, in the past, you would have done this or you would have done that. And it's like, yeah, I would have, but now, because I'm now, I'm here, this is what we're going to do or this is what, you know, needs to occur because I'm focusing in on the now, not the past. And a being accepting of others and their actions is not living, you know, focus, make, not living on their past mistakes or whatever it was in the past that they have always done. But here they are now. This is what they're doing now. You know, and sometimes reversing the situation. You know, um, and just asking yourself, what if someone were judging me and not accepting me? You know, how would I feel? You know, um, when you're, when you find yourself, um, when you find your thought process not at being accepting of someone, you know, maybe those are some questions you should, you should maybe ask yourself. You know, what if, what if someone was judging me and not accepting me? How would I feel? You know, and and allow yourself to feel that because if you're not asking yourself that or you're not asking your, you know, getting into your feelings, then you're not really going to really understand um, where this person's coming from or that you're not really accepting of other people. 
you know, and understanding that everyone has their own path that is right or true for them. <laughs> I know that I do. I know that you're all listening out there. You do, too. The guest call-in number is 917-889-3203 if you'd like to call in. We also have a chat going on the website and also on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash learning the Lord. And then just being, um, everyone has their own path that is right or true for them. You know, we all have, you know, a way of living or approaching each day that works for us. Um, And a lot of times it's just natural for us of what we do, you know. And sometimes, you know, it's not natural for other people. Is what's natural for you is not natural for other people, and it's it's important to just recognize that, and you know, and not try to convince people that this is the best way to do it because nine times out of ten is probably going to lead to disappointment, <laughs> you know, because you're trying to convince someone to do it your best way, and they have a way that they actually want to do it, and they within themselves feel that their way is best. So you're dealing with two different things at that point. You know, you're dealing with you you're trying to state that your way is the best and their they're they're you're not being accepting of them and and they're not being accepting um accepting of you. So, you know, you have to just look and say Okay, we can kind of work, we can work through this together, but everyone's going to have their own path that is right or true for them. And it's not for us to state whether or not their path is right or true. And we have to accept if that's what they feel that they're going to, that they want to do. I even think about, you know, my own kids and, you know, and, and the path that they, will eventually go on, and I tell them all the time, you know, you're going to get to an age, you know, once you're over 18, the only thing that I could do is support you and accept your decisions, and, you know, I'll tell you about any pitfalls or anything along the path that you may run into, but eventually they're, I'm going to have to be accepting of whatever path that, that they feel is right or true for them. You know, yes, I'm saying go to college and then after college you do this and you do that. But, you know, it's it's what if they want to do something else? You know, I have to accept that and I have to be there for them, you know. And that's what being acceptance is. It's just being there and it just accepts accepting that person for who they are and their choices that they make. Now, I'm not saying be accepting if they're doing something that's going to be harming them in any way. No, we don't want to be accepting of those things. But, you know, um, if they have their, you know, if it's right and if it's true for them, it's it's not going to, you know, put them any harm, um, then just accept it. And, and, you know, that way you can really learn to um, love openly and enjoy your time together without always bumping heads because you're so focused on making sure that they do things according to your plan or according to, way, to the way you want it done. And that's not how one is supposed to live their life because that person um, will eventually be upset and you know, it could turn out really bad. So um, the other thing we can show love to others when um, we we can still show love when we disagree with their way. You know, just because we don't agree with someone's um, choice in their life, it doesn't mean that um, we don't love them. And it doesn't mean that um, we have to change how, you know, we interact with them or whether or not we extend love or care um, towards them, you know, um, it's you're supposed to be accepting. So instead of being threatened or, you know, frustrated or dismayed by the differences, you know, we can celebrate them. You know, it's it's because they... This is what they're choosing to do. This is what they choose to do in their life. Now, I'm not saying if they're trying to harm them, harm themselves, then that's a different story. But we're talking if it's something, you know, as easy as, um, I don't know, they're going to quit their job and go go work somewhere else, you know, instead of disagreeing with them and being upset with them, you know, celebrate them. 
okay, maybe they know something that we don't know. I don't know, you know, but what can we learn? You know, we want to look at what is it that we can learn from their way? You know, is it because they're so spontaneous or is it because they're they're really um, going to take choice, um, take, do things out of their character that something that we're not ready to do within ourselves, so um, we're going to tell them that they can't do it? Is it because they're carefree and they, they're they just like, well, it doesn't matter. You know, money doesn't matter to them. Well, maybe money matters to you, but maybe money doesn't matter to them. So maybe they just do things because um, it doesn't matter if it's a, a lower-paying job and you're, you're just like, oh, my God, you can't do this or you can't pay your bills, but maybe for them it's they're happy. You know, maybe you are upset because you are so focused on, you know, maybe having a um, an appearance towards people. You know, so what can you learn from their way? You know, just like for today, what I, uh, you know, had to go through of accepting someone and accepting the way they do things. You know, what can I learn from their way? Um, to be honest, um <laughs> I'm not really sure in that situation that I'm in. I will be honest, but I, I'm trying to think what can I learn from from my experience from today. And I, to be honest, I hadn't really thought about it. So I, I, something I'm going to think about, and I'll post that on Facebook, Learning the Lord, um, Facebook.com forward slash Learning the Lord. I'll post my experience today. And I will post on there, what did I learn from their way? Um, that That is a really good question. I, I'll post that today, um, this after the podcast, because I really need to figure out what did I learn from their way today. But, um, you know, what, what changed or what brought it to your attention, you know, um, that – that their way that you didn't disagree with their way, you know, what was it that you did not di- agree with? Was it because it wasn't your way? Was it because whatever the reason may be, you know, what was it that that, that you're just so bent over about? You know, let's, let's just deal with that because that's the only way that you're going to be accepting. And if you haven't um, figured out the the whole Accepting thing is more like a mirror. You can think of accepting others as like a mirror. And what you are seeing and what you're not accepting is probably in you. And because you don't probably want that to be seen or you want to be perceived a certain way, um, maybe that is what's really up setting you, you know, so rather than trying to change others, focus on yourself, you know, shift the attention away from how others live and place a, our awareness, you know, on our own lives, you know, what what could we be more accepting towards ourselves about, you know, is it because we want to live a carefree life that we're, we're not accepting when someone else is living a carefree life? Um, maybe you're afraid to take chances and someone is taking chances all the time and you're not accepting of that person because you feel they they go from here, they go from there. But maybe it's within you that, you know, maybe you are you want to be able to be carefree, but for some reason you won't allow yourself to do that. You know, um, could you can you let go of wanting to change others? You know, could you let go of wanting to change yourself? You know, what what would happen if you were at peace with how things are right now? You know, it's it's easy to um, look at others and point out the differences within themselves, within others, but when we have to look within ourselves, it's really hard. You know, to look at. So sometimes being accepting of other people means you have to really look at them and really understand them and really allow yourself to go there, you know, and not be so focused on changing them. You know, if someone was cleaning the house and and the other person say, oh, you don't know how to clean, you know, what would you do? 
you know, why, why is it because this person got the house clean but just took a different route? You know, or someone's frying chicken. Oh, you don't know how to fry. You know, you don't know how to cook. And you get the same result, you know, but um, you're, you're not accepting. You know, and, and that's one of the biggest things within ourselves is that we have to learn to accept each other. And we can't do the, um, I call it the, the fake acceptance because you will always be, that will always come out, the fake acceptance. <laughs> and the fake acceptance, as I label it, is, oh, yeah, I'm I'm going to really not say much to you. And, and as you talk, I'm just going to smile and, and not really say anything. But deep inside, I'm just, like, tearing you to pieces. That's the fake acceptance. And, and, and those people have to deal with their own fake acceptance. But when you're wanting to change yourself and you want to live a happy life and you want to do what's right and do what's right to other people, you have to learn to accept others. You know, it would be no different than someone, you know, um, being in a wheelchair. You know, we have to be able to take ourselves there and and think, you know, how would I feel, you know, if I was in a wheelchair or how would I feel if I didn't have the use of my limb, you know, and accepting that this is where this person is or this is what this person has to offer and understanding that I have to accept their differences. No matter what the cost may be, I have to accept their differences and understand that I can't change them and nor um, we can't change anyone, but within ourselves, we have to change. So when you're not accepting someone, you have to look at yourself and say, what is it about that person that I am just not accepting of? You know, and, and just start pointing out different, you know, if you, you see that they just have no thought process, then maybe look within yourself. You know, maybe it's it's a sign that you overthink everything. Everything is it's really simple, but you tend to overthink everything, and it frustrates you because you go a little deeper in your thinking when it's not really necessary um, to go that deep in the thinking. And you just have to, um, you know, try. You you can't pass judgment on the one on your on anyone, but you can really judge yourself and. Um, you you tend to um, your behavior. You know we we don't understand the behavior of people, and that's okay. But you still have to accept people for who they are, and recognize it, and and not be bothered by it. You know, so you don't want to get upset. You don't want to, um, you know, be disrespectful for the person. You know, but you still need to. Look within yourself and find out what is it about this person that that I see that is probably within me that I cannot accept. And once you find that, then you'll be able to really, um, really turn the turn the corner on accepting people. You know, even as a child, you know, think for a child, um, um, he has no, you know, no concept that someone is lying until, you know, they learn how to lie themselves. And once they know, um, once they've been told that they know, um, that they understand that they've been lying, they become a victim of their own crime. Because they, for, you know, that's what I mean when you are looking at someone and you're not accepting of them, it's probably something within them that, it's probably something within you that you see and you're becoming a victim of your own crime. It's because you don't want to deal with it, but we have to deal with it. You know, we have to, you know, for our sake, accept others. And once we learn to accept others, boy, the world would be a great place to live in. Just uh, just accepting each other. You know, um, and just, you know, to remind yourself a few things, you know, most people are just doing as they've been taught to do. You know, um, they've been, these patterns have been handed down from family, school, society, um, everything that they're, they just do. And the majority of people never stop to question why they do what they do. They just, you know, 
in their mind, it, it just runs by itself. So it's not a conscious thing. Their behavior is just not conscious. You know, it's just something that they just do. You know, and and if you never stop to ask yourself why do you do what you do, then you 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 you'll never understand um, your your whole process. But you know, you have to understand that when we're being accepting of people in the way that they are, you know, they've been taught to do this. This is how this is their survival. This is how they survive in life. This is this is what you know society have taught them to do. This is what their family has taught them to do. You ever seen? Um, I know sometimes they show um, movies or shows where you know everyone in the family is just sedity and they're really you know their noses are turned up with everyone and they talk down to everybody and it's always. Um, one of the one person that comes along that that just defy all odds, and they're just like, "Why do you people act this way?" You know, because they have probably said, "Well, why do we do this?" You know, because you don't want to be that type of family that just turn your noses up. You know, you don't want to be that type of person. But you know, you have to understand that people, you know. Um, their behavior is not conscious. This is how their family act. This is what their schools act like. And this is what the society that they're around um, have taught them how to, to live life. And we, living on the outside of their life, have to understand that their behavior is not conscious. It's just this is what they've been taught to do. And this is what we have to accept, that this is how this person is. It's not that... Um, it's it's not that that we should shun them or be upset with them. It's just that their behavior is not conscious. They're not aware of what they're doing. It's just something that's just a part of them. Um, and then a lot of times it's when it's time to accept people, they're just trying to meet their own needs, just like you're trying to meet your own need, um, just like today, the situation that I had. I was trying to meet my own need, and they were trying to meet their own needs. And um, But this is what we all are trying to do. Everyone just goes about it a different way. You know, it's not about you at all. It's not about them. And getting their needs met, you know, you're doing the exact, you know, you're, you're going to do the exact same thing, um, just a different way. So you have to understand when you're trying, when you're accepting someone, you know, they're they're trying to meet their needs just like you're trying to meet your need, and but they're just going about it a different way, and that right there is what you really will want to understand when it comes to accepting someone and just knowing that, okay, they have a need to meet, I have a need to meet. It's almost like a negotiation. Who's going to bow down first, you know? um, And if, you know, if I were you, I would just go ahead and, you know, I wouldn't call it bow down, but, you know, just go ahead and understand, okay, they're just trying to meet their need, and maybe you need to verbally state, well, you're you're trying to do this, and I'm trying to do this, so why can't we combine the two and we can complete this task together? You know, and accept the, um, accept the differences. In each, in everybody that you're around, whether it's your family, your your job, your coworkers, whatever it may be, you know, just accept the differences in how they operate. You know, you ever have someone that works in the office and and you have, you know, someone that just um so uptight, so uptight, but everyone else in the office is just funny. They're going around, they're laughing, they're having a good time, but they're still doing their work. But they're doing it in such a um, good-spirited way. And then you have one person in the office that brings down the mood of the office because, you know, they're not part of the fun and laughter. And they're not fun, you know, they're not part of that. And, you know, looking at that person, you still have to accept them because, they've probably been brought up into a life where, you know, work, you work. At home, you have fun. 
or when you go to certain places, you do things at certain times. And But you still have to be accepting of that person and understand, okay, well, that person doesn't, it's all business with them. But this person over here is going to mix business with a little laughter. But you still have to accept that person within that office that just, you know, is totally different than everyone else. And they're, they're going to get the same thing accomplished. They're going to, you know, they're going to do their job just like you're going to do your job. And if you find that um, you just really can accept someone, it's best to just walk away. And I know you probably wasn't looking for a walk away, but if you don't agree, just walk away. You know, we don't have to have, you know, um, you don't have to allow someone to do as they choose or um, just choose not to be a part of it. You know, sometimes we just have to walk away. And that's one of the biggest things that um, sometimes will upset people when you decide, I'm just walking away. I'm just going to stay out of it. I'm not going to be a part of it. And because everybody wants everyone to be involved in everything. But, you know, for you to be accepting of someone, sometimes you just have to walk away and just stay out of it and not be a part of it. And it's not that you, um, we don't have to have an agreement to have harmony, okay? You can still have harmony when you walk away. It's just that you're choosing at this particular time or this, whatever the case may be, that you're just not going to be a part of it. It doesn't say that you're not accepting of this person. It's not saying that you've written this person um, off your friends list or associate list or coworker list, you're just choosing to walk away at this particular time or whatever, not be a part of whatever's going on. And that's your right. No one can tell you that, no, you can't walk away. That is your right to walk away. And some, you know, some of the best um, friendships is when you walk away. You know, you don't have to state your opinion. You don't have to state that this is right, this is wrong. You can just say, I'm, I'm choosing to walk away and, you know, and allow someone to do as they choose. And, and trust me, if, if that's a really good friend, they'll, they'll understand. Um, and they probably won't bring any more foolishness around you anymore because they know you're just going to walk away. <laughs> You know, and and just take a look at yourself. You know, the only time that you can really pass judgment is to be in um, possession of the correct idea or the correct standard. You know, open yourself up to the possibility that, you know, you might be wrong or there might be more than one way, you know. And once you understand that, life will get much easier for you. And it all comes back to take a look at yourself. You know, when it comes to accepting people, you know, just look within yourself and understand that I can't change you. I can't change this person, but I can accept them for who they are. You know, it's no different than um, someone walking up to you and maybe, um, I don't know, they, they, they don't have the right type of clothing on for you for in in this particular environment that you're in. Talking to that person, you turn out to be, they turn out to be um, the best person you could have ever talked to. But because, only because you found that out, only because you were accepting of who they were and not stating within yourself that, oh, I'm not talking to this person. They dress like that. They weird just from your eyesight. But then after you have a conversation with these with this individual, you understand that, oh, my goodness, this person is the best person to talk to. They're so knowledgeable on this. And they you would never have known, you know, if had you not accepted this person. Some of my um, best um, revelations in life is when, you know, I talk to someone and no, they're not dressed like me and they they don't look like me and and but just talking to that person, you're just like wow, 
I would have never known. But and so many people may have written this person off like, oh, don't talk to them. They're weird. You know, they're into this or they're into that. But um, but after you talk to after I've talked to them, I was like, wow, you just don't know this person over there, and that's that's fine. You don't have to know that person. I'll know them and get the information I do need to have. So, you know, hopefully everyone will understand all about accepting each other and being accepting of others and knowing that it's not easy. It was, it's not going to be easy. I mean, it's really easy once you start putting your mind to it. Once you start going through the process of changing yourself and being more um, spiritual minded and more um, get your thoughts in line, it, everything will start being really easy. Some of the topics that we discussed in the past, you know, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, being accepting of others, um, it's all dealing with your thought process. And that's one of the things that you constantly have to work on is your thought process. I know I have to constantly work on my thought process. And I'll just be honest with you. I have to work on my thought process on a um, a daily basis because my thoughts or your thoughts is what controls you. You know, if I wake up and um, in a bad mood, you know, I'm going to just be mad at the world because I allow my thoughts to go into being negative, you know, um, so you have to learn to train your thoughts. And once you start training your thoughts and getting your mind in order and getting your your whole life aligned, everything was begin to fall into pieces. I mean, I'm sorry, fall into places. And and you'll understand and you'll start feeling it and you'll be more aware of when you're not being accepting of others. And you know, you'll stop spend you'll stop you know, spending time worrying about whether you have others' approval or if we can get it. You know, it's not about others' approvals. It's about do you approve of yourself? Do you have love within yourself? You know, and then you can accept and love other people. You know, once we start getting that thought process and and being accepting of ourselves, you know, we don't have to uh, spend time convincing others that our way is right or our way is wrong. Because we've already given up that notion that sometimes we're just wrong. <laughs> sometimes we just don't know what's right and what's wrong. And sometimes, you know, we can't <laughs> say that, okay, this way is the better way. You know, so we just have to give it up. We don't have to convince ourselves or convince our other people, you know, it's almost as though um, you're, you're going with the flow. I'm not saying not to voice your opinions, you know, but accepting other people's opinions and accepting you, yourself, and others, you know, you, you'll learn to do all these things. You know, you're not going to be um, caught up in the thinking and behavior patterns of older versions of ourselves, you know. You ever hear someone, oh, if I was if I, if I was back in the day, I would be doing this. You know, we're not going to be going to, thinking about the our behavior and um, thinking about how we were, you know, the old versions of us. Once you learn to change, uh, train your thoughts, you're going to start saying, no, this is how we're going to, this is, this is the new me. Um, this is the new me. This is my new thinking. This is my new behavior pattern. And I'm not going to think about how I used to be. I'm not going to think about seeing someone walk in and maybe their shirt um, is dirty and they come up and they just have want to have a casual conversation. And my old version of me would be like, uh-uh, I want to be seen talking to this person. But the new version of you is accepting of that person and just having a conversation. You know, we're not asking you to fall in love with anyone. Just accept others for who they are. You never know the path that they've taken to get to where they're at. You never know. You you know, so that's all part of accepting others and just accepting. 
accepting, being accepting of yourself. And then we'll see others, um, you know, we'll stop seeing others according to our labels, as I was just saying, or, or judgments of them, you know, and we'll start seeing who they really are. You know, there's there's um, people I come across every day that I, I, I kind of, you know, sometimes just the mind, the eyesight is, is so misleading that I could say, oh, I'm not going to talk to that person. Mm-mm. Nope, they don't fit my standards. But once you start accepting other people and you stop and you start getting away from the labels that you have allowed yourself to label people with and you start to accept people, you may just learn something from that person. You know, um, dealing even with, you know, family you know, or dealing with friends. You know, maybe your friend has someone that, you know, you like, Mm-mm, I'm not going with you. I don't like that person because they're this or they that. You know, you're putting a label on them. Stop labeling people. Stop judging people. You know, once you change your mindset and you start loving yourself and you start um, dealing with yourself, you'll learn to start getting rid of all of that. And you'll start being accepting of others and how they are, you know, and um, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to bring yourself back to what's truly important, you know, and, and that's you, your thought process. Because you have to also think, you know, what if I wasn't accepted? You know, what if people really looked at me and stated they didn't like the way my clothing were, but yet... You know, or I didn't fit into their cup of tea. You know, you have to think like that. And, 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 you know, there are going to be people that just going to look at you and say, no, mm -mm, I don't want no part of you or whatever the case may be. And, And that's okay, too. But you want to still be accepting. You don't allow other people's actions to dictate your actions. Just because someone is not being accepting of you does not mean you're not going to be accepting of them. And and that's really important to understand once you start dealing with your mind, your thought process, um, and everything that you see may not be real. <laughs> you know, get rid of the negativity in, within your life and, and just learn to start accepting others. Learn to love yourself. Get rid of all those past um the old versions of yourself and the past your past thought process and your your past actions and and when you are coming up to someone and you're not being very accepting of them what is it a, what is it about that person that you can't accept and then look within yourself and see if that's part of you you know just going back to the the person with the dirty shirt that comes up um and, and tries to talk to you you know, look within yourself. Is it because um, you have a dirty shirt on, or is it, you know, is, is you know, just I'm just saying, you know, just look at it. What are you not accepting of that person? You know, is it because you know you feel that oh, they need to have a better shirt on? Do you feel that you need to have a better shirt on? You know, that's how you kind of turn the tables and you start dealing with accepting others. Others, You know, if someone is spontaneous, look within yourself. Are you upset because you're not spontaneous? Are you upset because maybe you've been so spontaneous that you've caused damage within your life and you're upset about it? And maybe that's really what you're upset about. Maybe that's what you need to tell the other person. And maybe that's why you're not accepting of them. You know, so look within yourself and and figure out, you know, what is it about that person? Because it's probably a mirror back to you as to why you're not accepting of this person. You know, maybe it's because they go across, they go, they go against the grain. You know, maybe, you know, their family is one way and this person is, ooh, totally different. You know, why why are you so not accepting of this person? 
is you know is because you really want to go against the grain as well, but you feel kind of stuck that you don't. You know, so start looking within yourself and understanding that what you see in life and what you're accepting, you know, is probably a mirror back to you. So just just try to um, learn to be accepting, learn your thought process. And once you begin to do that, you, you'll understand and you'll be able to accept others for who they are. And, you know, I'm not saying you were going to accept people who are hurting themselves or anything like that, but you can you can start to understand, you know, why people act the way they act or why it is really upsetting to you as to why this person is acting the way they act. And, you know, we're all going to struggle with it, including myself. I said that right off the <laughs> at the beginning of the podcast, you know. I, I struggle with it, you know. We all struggle with it. And, you know, we can say we're accepting. We can say it all day long until someone comes to us that do not fit our mode. Then will we know that we're not accepting. You know, if you're you're all dressed up and someone that comes up and, you know, is not part of who you think should be talking to you, you're not accepting of that person. You know, and the more and more that we learn to accept each other, the more and more we will learn, we'll begin to learn things about ourselves. And the more you learn to about yourself and get more in tune with yourself, the more, um, the quicker you'll be able to recognize your thought process, and you'll be able to change your thought process, and you'll be able to do it. You know, and understand it. Maybe sometimes. It's not, you're not in an um, environment to where maybe you can quickly change over, but, you know, recognize it and say, and make a note of it and say, you know, today I was not really accepting of this and it really upset me and, you know, deal with your thoughts. So as we are um, going to be ending the podcast, I really appreciate you tuning in. And, you know, just to go through some things, uh, that just to help you accept others, you know, watch your thoughts, watch how your mind is thinking, change your mindset about things, look for positives in people, you know, just not always look at the negatives, look at the positives, understanding when you're not accepting of someone that it may be a mirror back to you is what what is so upsetting, Um what upsets you about this person? Stop judging yourself for past mistakes. You know, stop judging yourself. Stop putting pressure on yourself and saying, I want things done right. Everyone else needs to do things right. Well, guess what? Everyone's not going to do things the way you, you're right. I mean, it's not everyone's right. So understand that. Focus on the now. Don't live in the past. Don't think about and Don't compare things to the past. You know, Focus on the now and try to reverse the situation. And, you know, how would you feel if you if you were not accepted? You know, um, what if someone, you know, were judging you and not accepting you? You know, ask yourself those questions and constantly, you know, slow it down and, and, and figure out the answers. You know, understanding everyone has their own path, right or wrong, that's true for them. Keyword, them. It may not be for you, it's for them. Um, you know, just understand that their behavior is not conscious. It's something that it's a it's a learned behavior. So as we close out the uh, podcast, you know, just, just think of some of those things that um, that I discuss. And rather than trying to change others, focus on yourself. You know, we can still love each other even though we disagree with their way. So once again... Join us every um, Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on blogtalkradio.com. Um, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash learning the Lord. Um, follow the podcast 
on Block Talk Radio forward slash LTLN. Subscribe to our Endless Encouragement channel on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash learning the Lord. Tell your friends, help my ratings. Also, the podcast on iTunes, search Endless Encouragement, or go to our website and click on the link. Don't forget to sign up for our exciting newsletter that will be coming out in October at learningthelord.com. Also, don't forget about our um, coming soon, our website, the Indie Christian Resource page that's going to be dedicated to independent, inspirational Christian artists. So tell everyone that you know um, all about the show. Email learningthelord.com at gmail.com. If you'd like to do um, interested in writing for the newsletter, just put in the subject newsletter or the or you're going to do the Indie Christian Resources, um, put that in the subject. Hope everyone have a nice week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.